Ladies and gentlemen, this story came out probably last week where this Texas woman went over to Dubai and she was arrested for screaming out in public. Now, I know a lot of people want to always believe we don't know how to act, but in this case, I think people need to take a second look at this. They're saying she may have actually been a victim of a scam. Now, in those countries over there, women are treated like crap. And on top of that, they get punished and even killed for the most mundane things ever. You know, I was watching a video, this was a couple of years back, where they said Wednesday in that part of the world is when women are killed out in public. They execute women every single Wednesday. I mean, it, it is just crazy. So when I heard it, I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, you know, let me take a look at this again. So this is a Texas woman who is now prohibited from leaving the UAE after a man filed a legal case against her for screaming may actually be a victim of an elaborate scam. Terry, uh, I think her name is Tiara Allen, 29 years old, was riding in a rental car as a passenger in Dubai on April 28th when the driver, a friend from Nigeria, got into a minor fender bender, Allen's mother said, Tina Baxter, told Insider. Allen told her mother that she was briefly handcuffed and then uh, taken to the local police. And um, she said the car was towed back to the rental company with all of her belongings in it including her cell phone, her wallet, her passport, still all inside of the car. When she was released and police told her to go to the car company for her belongings. So she went to the rental car company, the name of which the U.S. consulate in Dubai advised the family not to publicize to get her stuff. The staff demanded thousands of dollars from her before they would return her personal belongings. I'm, I'm sorry, how would you react if you got into a fender bender, the police handcuff you, you're the passenger in the car, but you got handcuffed. And all of a sudden, this car gets towed back to the rental company and they won't turn over your personal belongings unless you give them thousands of dollars. Would you have been calm? An argument followed, Alan says, the staffer, um, you know, kind of baited her into yelling. If they're demanding thousands of dollars to give her personal belongings back to her, I bet you they did do that. An employee at the rental car company reported Allen to the police for violating a broadly defined law in the UAE that criminalized things like swearing, rudeness, and insulting gestures. She didn't get arrested for the accident. She got arrested for going to the rental car company, asking for her items, her personal belongings that were left inside of the vehicle when she opened a case. So Baxter told Insider, she became the main target when they realized she, she was a U.S. citizen. Uh-huh. You know, see, this is why it always paid to try to get the whole story before you jump on videos and start, 
you know, just bashing this woman. People have been doing that. You know, first of all, something's got to be wrong with your country. If somebody is asking for their belongings back and they raise their voice after you demanded thousands of dollars from them for something that belongs to them, Wow. So a UK-based human rights advocate who runs an organization in Dubai called Detained in Dubai that gives legal assistance to foreigners in the UAE told Insider that Alan's story is something that she's seen before multiple times. So this human rights advocate is saying that they are always doing this kind of scam in Dubai. Uh Uh-huh. I just had three Americans in the past couple of months who said they were pretty much in the same situation, Sterling told the insider. They ended up paying $20,000 that they didn't owe to the rental car company just to get their passports back so they could go home. It sounds to me like they set this woman up. Sterling, who was helping Alan, said that she has the right not only um She's been charged, but she's saying she is wrong. She's wrongly being charged in the UAE in this situation. They attempted to scam her, and that's when the argument ensued. As a result, she couldn't leave the country, of course, after they detained her. So even if she was allowed She doesn't have her passport, which Sterling believes is now in police custody. She is otherwise mostly hosed up in her Airbnb using a replacement phone to talk to her mother and Sterling. If the police chose to prosecute, uh, you know, they said they could do it and keep her there four, six, or even longer than that, four months, six months, or even longer until she gets a court date. So she don't have a court date. So she's literally stuck there. Wow. This is far worse than what they originally put out in the news about her. They tried to make it seem like she was just some angry black woman. They never told you the whole story about what happened to her. Mm -mm -mm. They're saying that if she is prosecuted in the UAE and convicted, they can literally keep her in the prisons over there for two years just for raising her voice over them stealing her belongings. I mean, look, if you're demanding thousands of dollars, then the rental car company stole her items and refused to give them back. The rental car company involved in the case did not respond to multiple requests for comment. Allen has gone to the police and returned to the rental agency multiple times trying to resolve the ordeal even offering to pay some of the money and demanded, um, you know, that the rental car company demanded. So she even offered to pay some money to them, Sterling said. They were also fraudulent charges made to her credit cards. Allen had left in the car, according to bank screenshots by Insider. Mm-mm-mm. He said, I'm definitely not doing well. It's been rough. Baxler, who is also in the Houston area, 
I'm trying to stay strong for her. This is her mother talking. Baxter said she was working to help her daughter, but was conscious that she could actually make things worse. As she is aware of her daughter's case, she said she was being careful not to say anything that might offend the UAE government or the authorities in Dubai. People just think she was some screaming monster when she was a very soft-spoken young lady, Baxter said of her daughter. She was only pushed to the edge and said she was afraid that she was being extorted for money and misled. So right now they do have a GoFundMe for her. And they're saying even with the GoFundMe, all of this could still backfire. Wow. Look at what they are doing. This is a shame, you know. Be careful about where you go in this world. You know, every place on this earth is not safe. And I know this from traveling abroad myself. You're not safe everywhere. And, you know, at the time I was overseas, it was things were a little better. You know, we didn't get treated badly at all. But now some of the same places that I traveled back then, people are just getting bombarded with racism and getting treated bad. And the citizens in those countries are really showing they don't want you there. They want you to leave. So just be careful. Apparently, she did get caught up in a scam. And I don't know how she's going to get out of there without a passport. As long as they won't do anything. See, this is where the reps in Texas should be trying to do everything they can to get her out of there. Where is Sheila Jackson Lee, Ted Cruz? What's going on with them? So, y'all, mm, 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 mm. I hope she is safe. I know she's probably not safe in a situation like this. And apparently the police are not doing anything to help her because if they were really doing their job, they would get their uh, her belongings from that rental car company and give it back to her. And the fact that they have not done that, it tells me the police are not going to help her at all. So she is literally stuck against her will in Dubai. Mm, mm, mm. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.